Good morning, second graders. Today in math, we are going to learn about some different types of graphs. We're going to start by reading the great graph contest, and then we're going to continue our day with making our first bar graph, and tomorrow we will do the next set of graphs. So we'll start by reading the great graph contest by Lauren Leedy. Hello, Gronk. Are you home? Come in, Breezy. You too, Jester. Gronk, what are you doing? I'm making a graph. I ask my friends, do you like mud? I put their answers under yes or no. More of us do like mud. This is a nice graph, Gronk. I have lots more to show you too. These are great. I like to ma make graphs too. That's really nice. Of course, my graphs are the best. Let's have a contest. You two will make some graphs and I'll be the judge. I'll give you points for correct math, creativity, and neatness. May the best graph win. I wonder if there are more smooth or rough rocks. I'll put the smooth ones on one square and the rough ones on the other square. I have to make labels too. Are there more smooth rocks or rough rocks? Class, are there more smooth rocks or rough rocks? Smooth. Good. These cookies look yummy. Why don't you grab them, Breezy? I wonder if there are more chocolate chip, oatmeal, or sugar cookies. I'll snack them up and find out. Are there more chocolate chip, oatmeal, or sugar cookies? What do you think, class? Chocolate chip. Good job. Does this bathing suit make me look fat? I like these patterns. Can you make a graph about them? Where are the suits with eight legged holes? Mm, some of these have patterns with flowers, some of them have bugs, and some of them have both flowers and bugs. I wonder which pattern is m more of the bathing suits. Do more bathing suits have flowers and bugs or both? What do we think, class? Bugs. Bugs, because there are more swimsuits in this circle than this circle. And in the middle. Look, the butterflies are dancing. They have such pretty colors. What are you doing? Excuse me, could you hold still for a second? I want to find out which color is the most common in the group of butterflies. My graph shows that the orange is the most common color for the butterflies. This graph is too good. My graph... My next graph has to be even better. Hey, snakes and turtles are reptiles. The rest are birds. I wonder if more reptiles or birds hatched out. Did more reptiles or birds hatch out, class? Reptiles. Good. I've got an idea for my next graph. Excuse me, may I ask you a question? What are you planning to do with your new flower? I'm going to plant my garden. Sir, what are you going to... What do you plan to do with this plant? It's a birthday gift for my friend. What will you do with this flower? I'll plant it in my yard. So what will you do with your flower? I'll eat it. I took a survey at the flower market and here are the results. What do shoppers plan to do with their new flowers? Plant it, give it away, or eat it? Who? Plant it. Good job. So in this book, in this book, we had a bunch of different types of graphs. This graph right here was called a quantitative graph. We'll cover that tomorrow. And this graph is called a Venn diagram. We'll cover that later too. It compares and contrasts two graphs. This was called a circle graph, and we'll also cover that later. This graph it's called a bar graph, which is what we are going to cover today. Can everyone say bar graph with me? Bar graph. Awesome job. So today, our objective is that the students will graph a small bag of M&Ms by color with 100% accuracy. So who thinks they can graph a bag of M&Ms? I do. Good. And then, I want you to be able to answer some questions about, the, about your graphs. Using some words we're going to... Learn here in a second. So what is this called? 
Bar graph. This is called a bar graph. So together we are going to make our first bar graph. What we're going to do is you will all get a bag of M&Ms. And M&Ms have six, a bag of M&Ms have six different colors. Red, blue, yellow, orange, brown, and green. And you will graph this bag of M&Ms by placing, I have, I have created these graphs for you, like this, and you will place each M&M in a box. So if it's a red, it will go above the red um, box. If it's a yellow, it'll go above the yellow, and so on. So we'll start together. This first one is an orange one. Where would this orange M&M go? In the orange place. Perfect. So when you have a bar graph, you start at the bottom, closest to the, lab closest to the labels, and you would place it right here above the orange. So now, we have a red M&M. Where would the red M&M go? In the blue column. Would it go, a red M&M go in the blue column? Yep. Are we sure about that? Red column. Good job. What about a yellow M&M? Where would that go? In the yellow spot. Perfect. We place it on the bottom, right? Now we have another orange one. Where would this next orange one go? Clear at the top. Would we put it clear at the top or would we put on would we put it on the next one? The next square up. Right above it. Good job. So we place it right here. After you have emptied your entire bag, we are going you're going to take the MMs, MMs off one by one and color the square, the correct color. So since we have it red, we will take our red crown, take the M&M off, and color in the box. But will we color more than one red M&M square if we don't have more than one red M&M? No. Perfect. I think you guys got the hang of it. So I'm going to talk about the next part. I have completed my graph. This is a whole bag of M&Ms. I have completed my graph. Um, now, after you guys have completed yours, I will ask you a few questions about who had the most of a certain color. Does anyone know what most means? Most means the greatest number of, and it looks like this, most. That is the greatest number of. And then I'll ask if you had the least. And that means you didn't have any or you had one. So if I were to ask you which color did I have the most of, what would you say? Orange. Perfect, because I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orange. And that was the most of any color. If I ask you what color I had the least of, what would you say? Red. Perfect, because I didn't even have any red. You guys are so smart. So now you each will get a graph a graph, a small bag of M&Ms, and some crowns. First you'll place the M&Ms on the graph. Please do not eat the M&Ms until the end of the lesson. Okay, so now let's start placing our M&Ms on our graph. The brown, perfect, at the very bottom. Place each M&M in a square. Good job. Do, is that how we do it, or do we do it one on top of another? Good job. Perfect. Do I have to do all these? Yeah. That would be helpful. These are all close. Okay. So now we're going to color. I'll go get you your colors. We're going to be right back. I have a green. Okay. So now you can take the M&Ms off one by one. So how many reds did you have? Two. Good job. So can you color each square? Perfect. 
How many green did you have? Six. Good job. How many blue did you have? One. How many yellow did you have? Three. How many orange did you have? Three. And brown. All right. So if I ask you what was the least amount you had, what would you say? Blue. Blue. And what would you say if I asked you what the most you had? Green. Great. And if I ask you, did you have any that had the same amount? What could you answer that too? Yellow this and orange. Good job. Okay, I see that everyone is wrapping up their graphs. So right now, what we're gonna do, I want you to raise your hand when I ask you a question. So if I were to say, who, raise your hand if you had the most orange in your bag. Everyone that had the most orange would raise their hand. Like I would raise my hand because I had the most orange. And then I may ask who had the least red. I would raise my hand because I had the least red. So here we go. Who had the most blue in their bag? Five of you, okay. Who had the least blue in their bag? Couple of you, okay. Who had the most red in their bag? Good. Who had the least red in their bag? Good, good. Who had the most brown in their bag? Who had the least brown in their bag? Who had the most orange in their bag? I did. Who had the least orange in their bag? Who had the most yellow in their bag? Who had the least yellow in their bag? Who had the most green in their bag? Me. Good job. And who had the least green in their bag? See, so everybody's bag was different, so should everybody's draft be different? Yeah. Yes. So, to wrap up, what, did, what kind of graph is this? Bar graph. A bar graph, perfect. And, what, and a bar graph shows different amounts next to each other, right? Right. Perfect. And what does most mean? The a greatest lot of. amount, or a lot of. And least means? You don't have any. Could you have a few though? No. It would just be the lowest number you would have. Right. Perfect. So that wraps up our math lesson today. And you guys can eat your M&Ms. Woohoo!